just get the run around. Wham bam, cap out, who's gonna help us now? Call the feds, the people cry, and these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mag, trap that bad guy, Al Capone. Unbeatable, incorruptible, the untouchable. Well, hello there, Tom. One walks these streets at night The sirens wail and bullets fly We need a little justice now Call for Elliot Mouse We live in fear of cheese racketeers In the sky But we've got tough guys on our side So kiss your kids goodbye Incredible Incredible Unbribable Unbribable The Untouchable The It's Elliot Mouse In old cheese cargo In their last big case, Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables apprehended the notorious gangster Bushy Siegel, a dangerous felon who was wanted by the authorities in New Gruyer. This meant he would have to be transferred to that city from Chicago, a dangerous mission that could only be entrusted to Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables. Already plans were underway to spring Bushy Siegel as key players in the underworld convened a special meeting in Chicago itself. Some of the most dangerous gangsters in the country were arriving in Chicago that very morning. Caddy Cacciano, Bushy Siegel's close associate from New Gruyere, Vito Catleone, and the brothers Luigi and Vincenzo Cat the Bracy. <laughs> Say, hiya, Gordon. Tell me, who's the old guy in the wheelchair? Hey, now, shh. What are you trying to do? Tell everybody who I am? Take it easy, Gordon. There's no one looking. Do you know who it is? Ah, well, I don't know. I can't make him out from here. Hey, now, wait a minute. My foot! My poor little tootsie! Yeah, that's Don Lupo. He suffers from terrible gout, you know. Don Lupo himself? Big cheese of the Black Paw, the most powerful crime syndicate in the world? Huh? Huh? Agent Gordon? Oh, well, he's disappeared. As you can see, if there's anything going on in the city of Cheese Cargo, you can be sure the Untouchables know about it already. Well, Mr. Mouse, I presume you'll be wanting us to supply you with an armed escort when you take Bushy Siegel back to New Gruyere. I don't think that'd be a good idea, Chief. We'd only attract the attention of more gangsters to this operation. Let's just keep it low-key. <laughs> That's right, it's best to keep it quiet. According to Wilson's latest calculations, there are more gangsters in Chicago than policemen. That's correct, Jack, so an escort will be of no use to us no matter how big it was. But what if they find out what you're doing? You know they're gonna try and spring Bushy Seagull, and you can bet those hoodlums will have every route covered from here to New Gruyere. Don't worry, Chief, I got it all figured out. We're gonna use a double to throw anyone off the scent who might be following. Besides, I'm sure a little action now and then wouldn't do us any harm, right? Here we are. Open up, Officer Catlamity. There you go. Well, if it ain't the famous unmentionable, so, Mouse, to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? We're getting you out, Siegel, and you're going on a long trip to the inside of another jail cell in New Gruyere. Think you can get me all the way there, Mouse? <laughs> huh? I very much doubt it. <laughs> you ain't got a hope. Excuse me, Officer Catlamity. Would you mind removing your hat and standing next to the prisoner for a moment? Eh, uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, if you want me to. Oh, uh, hey, fellas, uh, don't you think they look like each other? Superficially, they're very similar, and they're exactly the same height. This guy don't look like me. He's hardly got any hair. We can solve that problem, Siegel. Well, here's just what we're looking for, guys. Allow me to introduce our double. You can't be serious. Officer Catlamity is jinxed. He brings nothing but bad luck ever since he's been in charge of the cells down here. There's not been one prisoner escaped. Do you hear me? Not one. Well, so what? How can that be bad luck? Just try asking any of the prisoners who try to escape while he's been on duty down here. Something terrible has always happened to them. Some yeah. unfortunate accident. Hold it. You ain't taking me nowhere, copper. Ah! Hey, you are. What did I tell you? Sure was unlucky. 
Well, I still think we'll take our chances. Okay, fellas, come on, let's go. We got a lot of stuff to organize. Did you hear that? Calamity's leaving. This is fate. Someone up there must have heard our prayers. No! Ah! Yeah! Hey, something's wrong. What is it, Jack? Oh, no, we've got a puncture. That's not possible. Huh? I checked the tire's air pressure this morning. What can I say, guys? I'm sorry. Maybe this guy is jinxed after all. This is Queen of Provolone, my best cow. I bought her with the proceeds of my first stick-up. She's the best milker I got. Yes, sir. After her was Mr. Leggio, Lady Fantina, Queen of Parmigiano, Miss Mozzarella, Cut and... the cheese talk, Catone. You're boring us to death. Don't be angry, Al. Your portraits of cows are nice, but the boys outside are all getting a little impatient to rescue Pussy. So if Don Lupo will give us his permission, we can begin. Yeah, it's the time we got this meeting started. What are they saying? Hey, is it somebody's birthday? No, it's a black poor meeting, senor. Do you give you permission for it to begin? Oh, of course, let's start. But I get to blow the candles out, right? Alert the lucky Cacciano speaker. He called the meeting. Well, as you all know, my best friend Bushy Siegel was arrested by federal agents right here in Chicago. He came looking for trouble and he found it. That's right. He tried to start a war between us, but we can do that ourselves, right, Catone? Or what do you say to that, Lucky? I think there's some misunderstanding here. All right, it's just a telephone. Calm down, will ya? Now then, if you will excuse me. Yeah, this is Rat Nitty here. Who's speaking? This is Officer Cat Lamity for Mr. Catone. Senior Catone can't be destroyed. So what do you want? I'm at the headquarters of the Untouchables. They've got Mr. Siegel and they're transferring him to New Gruyere tomorrow. Nice work. Can you tell me anything else? Yeah, they want to use me as Siegel's double to trick you and I'm going to be... Huh? What? Ooh, ah, everything's falling to pieces! Hey, Cat Lamity, are you still there? Why is it we can never get information from that schmuck without something bad happening? It seems to be a misunderstanding, so let's decide how to help Bushy. Let the rules of the Black Paw be applied. We will not interfere in this city's business, okay? I agree with the brothers, Cat Lebrace, but to be fair, Bushy, Siegel, and Lucky Cacciano should be made to pay for our services. I swear not to interfere in this city's business again. In addition, I give all my holdings in Cheese Cargo to the gang able to free Bushy Siegel. That's the kind of deal that I like. Excuse me, but the refreshments you ordered have arrived, Senior Catone. All right, bring them in. What is it, Nitty? That was Officer Cat Lamity. He's inside the Untouchables' headquarters. They're transferring Bushy Siegel tomorrow, and they're gonna use him as a double. Better not say anything. We'll keep this information to ourselves, right? <laughs> okay, friends, I'm gonna tell you the latest news, but please, eat! Ah, ah, this is really good food. I have just been most reliably informed that Bushy Siegel is being held at the headquarters of the Untouchables prior to their transferring him over to New Korea tomorrow. I want but the cake! I want to one! Hold on, Don Lupo. <laughs> hey, these are sweet pastries. The best in all cheese cargo. Anything wrong? Duck says sweet things are Don Lupo's enemies. I eliminate Don Lupo's enemies. <laughs> 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 set, so when they come out, we launch a surprise attack. Thanks for coming, Deborah. Sorry to have gotten you up so early. That's okay, Elliot. You know you can count on me. I'm here for you. So when I heard you were going out of the city, I wanted to come over and say goodbye. Oh, yeah, of course, sure. I mean, yeah, I wanted to say goodbye, too. Anyway, let's go and see how the fellas are getting on with all the preparations, shall we? Hey! 
Hi, Jack. How's it all going? Fine. Bushy Seagull and Cat Lavity are all ready. Now all I have to do is repair this telephone. How come? What happened to it? I don't know. I found it like this, with boxes all over the floor, but no one admits yeah. to having broken it. Hmm, that is strange. Hmm. Yeah, there's Moran's goon, so they ain't left yet. All right, but we're almost late, uh, thanks to this lame brain. Sorry, I was really what? sleeping. Shut up, will you, and huh? take off that ridiculous cap? Monskin, losing my granddaddy gave me that cap. Okay, get ready, guys. Here they come. Ah, great, here we go again. You can relax, Gordon. I've installed a self-repair kit. The blown tire gag never fails. Let's get after them. There we go. Now with the super vacuum, I'll pick up any nails that might still be lying around. Look out, Jack! That vehicle's headed straight it's for right. us! alright. This is a job for Ball. Ah, go get a ball! Huh? Hey, what are you doing, stupid? The old blown tire gag. Well, get out and change it. Hurry, they're getting away. Well, come on, Nitty. Ain't we going after him? The poison in that car ain't Bushy Seagull. Well, what makes you think that? We got information that they're using a double, so the logical thing for them to do is to bring the fake Bushy Seagull out first. Do you follow me? Come on, hurry it up. Let's go. Sleeping Beauty's having a nap again. All right. Hey, Scalise, look over there. Hey, wait a minute, that's Deborah's car, but what's she doing here? Come on, we gotta follow her. There's no one around. It's safe to get out now, Elliot. Yeah, I doubt those hoods will try anything anyway. Huh? Elliot Mouse? Well, how can I thank you for all your help, Deborah? Uh, how about a kiss, Elliot? Oh, yeah, sure, you got it. Sorry, Dabra, I gotta go. The train's about to leave. He just kissed my devil hey, that's out. Nice. What do you do that for, huh? got engaged or something, huh? He's using my devil out to help him get the real bushy seagull to New Gruyere. No, my devil <laughs> I can't believe Snap it. Snap out of it, no, you love lone lug. They get in the way. Let's call for the Cheese Cargo Express. All aboard! Come on, hurry. We're gonna miss the train. Hey, wait a minute. I can't go. I left my sleeping cap behind. Move it, stupid. It don't matter. Well, I can't sleep without it, huh? Come here! I ain't going. Nothing matters if I can't help you. No, get come on, on, Nitty. Forget her and get on. Come on now. <laughs> you don't understand. Elliot Mouse has taken my devil away from me. It ain't fair. My sleeping cap has gone too. Well, you ain't got a brain to catch cold. Come on, Nitty. All the more reason for you to do this job and get your revenge. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. I should take it like a rat. Okay, come on. We'll search the huh? train for that copper. I'll finish him off if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, now you're more like your old self, Nitty. If he's himself now, who was he before then? Come on! That's perfect. There's no one around, so we'll be able to change compartments. You just wait here and don't move. Ah! Oh! Ah, shucks, it broke. This is no good. I'll have to go get the conductor. Well, looky here, it's a 326. At this speed, we'll get into New Gruyere before they do. Excuse me, can I see your tickets, gentlemen? Where's that conductor got to? Your tickets, please. Yeah, you want our tickets? Here. No. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, excuse me. Get out of the way, you moron. Sorry, fella. Ah, there you are. Say, you all right? What happened to you? Those thugs, they attacked me for no reason. It's There's him. The we got him. Now he can't get away. Whoa. Ah. Where'd he get to? Here! Ah! That went very nice, Whoa! Mr. Hey, I did it! I beat Elliot Mouse all on my own! Yeah! But wait a minute. No one else was here to see me do it, and what am I gonna do now? I'm all on my own. 
don't want to do that again in a hurry. Well, the 326 should be along any minute. Hey, fellas, wait up! Hey! Elliot, hey, what happened to you? Let's say I met up with a couple of old friends. Luckily, I got rid of Nitty and Scalisi before I fell from the train. Hey, does that mean they know about our plan, Elliot? It would seem that way, Gordon, but it can't be helped. We can't waste any more time. Right now, we gotta catch up with that train. And quick, our friend Ann and Selmy are still on board. It'll be difficult to catch up. The route by road is longer. There's still one other possibility. There's an aerodrome near here, and they might be able to help us out, Elliot. Good idea. Let's get over there, Jack. How's our passenger doing? Sleeping like a baby. Hey, what that? Eh, it's nothing. It's just a dummy. Hiya, fellas. Glad we met up with you. What? Huh? Hey, where did you two come from, huh? Well, we were coming along in the train, and uh... then... Yeah. Well, it's like this, you see. We wanted to get ahead of the untouchables and set up a trap for them. But before we could get anywhere, we fell off the train. You fell off the train? <laughs> Doc Moran always said that you guys had melted cheese for brains. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your walk to New Gruyere, fellas. I'd ask you to come with us, but we're going after Bushy Seagull, and we don't want you amateurs tagging along. Wait a minute. You guys are on the warm track. You won't free Bushy Seagull without our help. What Ratface saying? Bushy Seagull ain't in that car, and I ain't saying nothing else unless we come to some sort of gentleman's agreement. You guys listening here? All right, we'll take you. Now cough up the information. So you want me to catch up with the Chicago Express and land you on one of its cars? It's an interesting challenge. Will you do it? I'll pay you top dollar. Well... Wait a minute, son. You don't have to pay me anything. You'll be my first passenger, like a promotional flight. So hop in and let's catch that train and have some fun. <laughs> you can't huh? say better than that, Elliot. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. I'd say you're gonna need it. Okay, see ya. Yeah, just like I told you, there's Elliot Mouse himself. The louse. And now he's gonna try and get back on that train where he left Bushy Seagull. Hey, take a look, Kevin. It's true. That can't be Bushy. He ain't got no hair. You're right. He must be on the train. So what do we do now? If we can get to a telephone, I know a guy who works at the Cheeseville Terrain Station. Uh, yeah, and when the train pulls in, he can delay it until we arrive. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Just let me know when you see that train you're after, my friend. To tell you the truth, my eyesight's not what it could be. Huh? Oh, ain't that dangerous? I don't see why. Bats can fly and they're almost blind. Hey, wait a minute. I think I can smell smoke dead ahead. Your train's down there somewhere, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's there. Whoa! Scalise will be mad. I'm doing nothing, but what can I do? Huh? Ooh! Now, hey, it's one of them hairy planes with Elliot Mouse inside it. <laughs> now I know what to do. Hey, whoa! Where did you learn to fly like that? Now, according to my nose, we should be halfway down the train, son. So unbuckle your seatbelt and get ready to jump! I'm ready! Goodbye, son, and don't forget to recommend me to all your friends now. Made it anyhow. That guy's really dangerous. Uh, hey, Mouse, huh? well, ain't you gonna say hi? Hi and goodbye. You can't get away. This is the end of the line for you, copper. Looks like I'm running out of train. Hey, there's a tunnel coming up. You can't fool me with that old trick. Who'd you think I am? The cat on the hot train roof. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. A close shave, but another one bites the dust. I'd better get back to that compartment. Cheeseville, the new career train will leave in two minutes. Hey, it looks like you're losing a lot of oil down here. Really? Where from? I don't see anything. Except stars. Oh. <laughs> Two minutes was up a while ago. How come we ain't moving? Huh? Not again. 
Why can't things ever be easy? Come on, this time you're coming with me. Look there, fellas. We've caught up with the Chief Cargo Express, and it looks as though Elliot has everything under control. Sure is strange. It's running more than three minutes behind schedule, though, Jack. Put your foot down, Jack. Let's see if we can beat him to New Gruyere. What's the matter? Why aren't you leaving? We got problems, all right. Steam's leaking. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can help. Ha! Ah. Oh. Ah. Huh? Uh. There's no time to explain. Can you get us moving? You bet. Fast as you can, engineer. Ah, they've made it. Now I've got to think of something pretty fast. Follow me, I saw that louse mouse up on the footplate. Now what do we do? We can't get through this way. We can get to the locomotive along this running board. Go and see if there's one on the other side, will yous? Board here too, but me not like ride, iron horse. All right, we split up and surround him. Let's get moving. Ah, ah bad sign. Got your mouse. They ain't here. Where could they have gone? Huh? Were you looking for me? Huh? You threw Nitty. Throw down your weapon. All right, don't move. You're all under arrest. I'm gonna take you in. Ah! Bushy, good going. Yeah, nice one. No, it's me, you see, Officer Calamity. Where's Bushy, huh? They've taken him in the car. This idiot here gave me his billy club to defend myself from you. <laughs> what a greenhorn. I never trusted you, Calamity. So I took the precaution of stuffing my hat to cushion any blow. All right, the party's over. Huh? Whoa! Huh? Whoa. Huh? Ooh. Ah, it's a sticky, foul-smelling cheese grenade! No. Oh. That's some fun duel, oh. huh? Wait, the controls are gummed up. They won't work. We're headed for the city. We can't stop. We're going to crash. What about the emergency brake? No, at this speed, it would only derail the train. Then we better unhook the cars to save the passengers. Come on! Yeah, good work. Well done, Jack. We're here before the train. Well, I guess that must be a through train. Obviously, Catlamity's jinxing ability is greater than any of us realized. Reunited at last, huh, fellas? Oh, Elliot, <laughs> it's you. I'm so relieved. Did I hear you say Elliot? Hey, are you the famous Elliot Bounce from the Untouchables of Cheese Cargo? Right, and we brought you Bushy Siegel as promised. Uh, of course, he uh, might uh, look a little bit different. We had him visit the barber. You stole all my hair. Uh, hi, there's someone in here. <laughs> With their dangerous journey now at an end, the Untouchables had once again fulfilled their mission. But some of the other passengers weren't so lucky. Officer Cat Lamity, Rat Nitty, Scalise, Kevin Knives, Johnny Key, and Sharp Nose Clark were all carted off to prison. They forgot about Anselmi, but he made his own way there. Uh huh? That's Nitty and Scalise in there. Hey, wait for me, fellas. Hey, don't go. The island prison Catcatraz is the setting for Gordon and Elliot in their bid to uncover who is running a counterfeiting ring. By planning an escape, they hope to be led to the ringleader. But has Elliot gone overboard this time? As this hard-hitting episode starts to unfold, Elliot begins to realize what is really going on. Follow the war against crime blow by blow to see who is conning who, and if crime really does pay. Don't miss the next riotous adventure of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables. Thank <laughs> you.